Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to see about newly identified swine flu could become a human pandemic. It's called G4. Newly identified swine flu could become a human pandemic written by James Kinkless on July 3, 2020. Facts checked by Alexandra Sanfit's PhD. Research in China have identified an influence virus called G4 that can infect both pigs and humans while G4 is not yet able to spread from person to person. The scientist says that it has all the essential hallmarks of a future pandemic virus. A newly discovered virus may have the potentials to become a pandemic scientist have likened pig in to mixing vessels. For generating pandemics influence the virus because there has both mammalian and avine flu viruses. When different strains of a virus occupy the same animals, they can swap genes to create new strains with the potentials to infect new hosts. Research led by Hong Li Sun at China Agriculture University CAU, in Beijing has identified such a strain in pigs that has already began to infect humans. Called G4, it incorporates genes from three distinct influenza strains, a strain similar to viruses present in European and Asian bird, a North American strain that has genes from avine, human and pig influenza virus. The H1N1 strain that researchers first detected in the United States and that caused the 2009 swing flu pandemic, there is currently no evidence that G4 can pass from person to person. However, the persons of genes from the H1N1 pandemic strain suggest that it might develop this ability in this future. Between 2011 and 2018, the research team analyzed about 30,000 nasal swabs taken from pigs at Solodenins in 10 Chinese provinces. They also analyzed thousands of swabs from pigs there with respiration symptoms that had reserved treatments at CAUs, Veterinarian Technical Hospital. The researchers identified a total of 179 swine influenza viruses, including G4, which began to produce mutations in the samples from 2016 onwards. Describing their findings in the journal processing of the National Academy of Science of the United States of America, the researchers say that G4 has all the essential hallmarks of a con candidates pandemic virus. They also detected antibodies to the virus in the blood of people who work at pig farms. Out of 338 workers who underwent testing for G4, 35, it means 10.4 percentage received positive results. The inf infection rate has higher among younger workers age 18 to 35 with 9 out of 44 is 25.5% testing positive. A household survey found antibodies to G4 in 4.4% of 230 people who underwriting test. The scientists write that the level of infective greatly exchanged the opportunity for virus adaptations in humans and raises concerns for the possible generation of pandemic virus. Lab Experiments In the lab, the researchers showed that the virus was able to infect cultures of humans at the field cells that lines the airway of the lingus. The virus also had the ability to infect ferrets which researchers often use to model humans' influenza and to transmit from animal to animal with an airform droplets called aerosols. Infections disease resulting from pathogens that have jumped from one host species to another are 
known as zoo noses. Proof. James Wood and the Professor James Wood, head of the Department of Veterinarian Medicines at the University of Cambridge in the United Kingdom, told the Science Media Centre in London. The work comes as a sultry reminder that we are constantly at risk of new emergence of zoonotic pathogens and that farmed animals with which humans have greater contact than with wildlife may act as the source of for important pandemic virus. Dr. Alice Hughes from the Center for Integrative Conservation at the Exhusung Banna Tropical Botanical Garden in Juman, China noted that intensive farming products in Asia might promote the spread from zoonotic viruses. Hygiene strangers and feeds, including hormones and strudios, are across Asia are likely to be contributory factors of combined immune systems and the potential of virus to spread. She said, pork and poultry are also very popular across Asia, so there are a huge number of animals in the regions. The farming of half the world populations of 677.6 million pigs takes place in China. Forward planning is, in their paper, the scientists warned that exceeding flu vacancies are unlikely to protect human population from G4. Martha Nelson's an evolutionary biologist at the National Institute of Health for Great International Center. WHO studies peak influenza viruses said that in the ideal world, Scientists would have created a G4 vacancies in preparation for a possible outbreak. Doing this would involve substantially funding, however. She told the journal Science, We need to be vigilant about other infections, diseases, threats, even as COVID is going on because virus have no interest in whether we are already having another pandemic. Public health swine influences diseases related converge. Influenza A vs B. What to know medically reviewed by Stax Sampons D O. Influenza A and B are the most common types of flu in humans here. Learn about the differences between influenza A and B, including their symptoms. What is influenza B and what does it do? H7N9 bird flu, what you should know medically reviewed by University of Illinois. H7N9 bird flu is an influenza that may spread from birds to human. This is not common, but when an outbreak arises, there is a conference that it could. COVID-19 live update, total number of cases past 10.8 million. This alive article covers deployments regarding the coronavirus and COVID-19. We will update it regularly as the situation unfolds. If you really like this video, please put the like, switch and don't forget to subscribe.